These lawsuits were filed by Tony Busby, who represents many other alleged Diddy victims. Tony Busby continues to launch lawsuits alleging misconduct against Diddy, as he will represent about 120 of the bad boy mogul's alleged victims. Moreover, according to a TMZ report, Busby filed six separate lawsuits recently, four of which are from male accusers. One of them is from a man who worked at Echo Clothing in 2008 and allegedly met Sean Combs as he developed Sean John as a competing clothing brand. The man alleges that the executive and three of his bodyguards ran into him in the stockroom of a Macy's in New York City. He alleges that someone hit him in the back of his neck with their pistol and that Combs said, suck my D asterisk asterisk K, Echo before orally assaulting him. Another man alleges that he worked as a security guard for Diddy's White Party in 2006 and drank a cocktail spiked with GBH and or ecstasy. Then, he alleges, the former Diageo partner forcibly took him to a van and sodomized him without consent. In another lawsuit filed by Tony Busby, a man alleged that he went to one of Combs' parties in 2021 and that he became disoriented due to a drink. He also alleged that the next thing he remembers is being paralyzed in a room where three men allegedly sexually assaulted him and sodomized him. The man allegedly distinctly recalled seeing a naked puff standing over him. The fourth lawsuit in question comes from a man who alleges that he went to Diddy's 1998 white party in the Hamptons when he was just 16 years old. After allegedly taking a photo together, the man alleges that Puffy took him to a private area to tell him to take his pants off to see his penis. Don't you want him to break into the business? He allegedly asked the man, since they allegedly spoke of turning the alleged then 16-year-old into a star. The man says that he dropped his pants and that the now 54-year-old squeezed his genitals. Other stories floating around the Diddy scandal concern Donald Trump allegedly defending him against Aubrey O'Day back in the day. All situations above remain allegations, and the parties involved have not addressed them publicly at press time.